Okay, so back again. Um, this morning I went and bought some terminal lugs. So this will this will do what was missed the other day. So I'll be able to wire up the whole battery bank and then wire into the charge controller and inverter, hopefully. So what I'm gonna do is finish in, finish off the wiring for this. So we've got this this long lead here which we're just testing out to link the batteries together. So that's fine, I'll have to take that off, install a proper one, and then these long leads actually go into the inverter from the batteries. So I'm gonna make some more small cables. I've got them pre-cut, so here they are. So just all I do is put some heat shrink on, cut a bit of the rubber off to expose the wire, and then crimp one of these lugs on it. Just like this one. So lug on each end, and that should be right. So what I need is a couple of longer ones, so this size and that size. So I need three more of those ones. Okay, so we sorted out the wires properly. So 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt, and 12 volt, all tied together. And then we've got, got the negative coming from there and the positive coming from there into the inverter. So all this is gonna be tidied up later with some clips, make it look fairly neat. Uh, we tested the inverter and it all works. Um, actually hooked it up to these lights. So that light, there's two of those and then there's a light above. And um, that seemed to work fine. Tested the, the hot air gun. which is what we had it at the highest temperature, I think. So that's around 2,000 watts, and that was, that was working as well. Um, so now we've got to work on hooking the solar up. The solar's going to come in from out there somewhere into here. So we've got to wire up the solar in series, two series, and then run a cord for each, a cable, well, a wire for each. So it's, the solar panels are pretty much going to be wired like this. Two linked together and then the in and out points, positive and negative, are going to run directly into these bars. So all up there's going to be three. Three wires coming in, three positive, three negative, for the 12 solar panels that I've got, I think. We'll have to test that later on. But yeah, I'm going to work on that. Got some suppliers. Got some more adapters. Solar panel adapters. Dad also gave me some clips. Um, double adapter clip things, which are in here. So I should have plenty to work with. Um, getting it all, all hooked up. So I'm gonna work on that. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be connecting all the top, top row of panels together and then these bottom three so these two are going to be linked in series to make 48 volt panels another 48 volt 48 volt 48 volt and another one so the way I'm going to do that I've got these splitters so you link one end one positive and negative negative together and then another one on these two so this comes with your positive out. So positive out here runs into the shed and this negative out also runs into the shed. So I'm gonna do that for all of them and then I'm gonna tidy them up. Clip them on here, pretty neat. Just so they're not dangling out of the way. So I'm gonna work on that. Okay, so I've started clipping it in. Just got these clips here. And that's um, just holding the wires together. And I've tried to run it fairly neatly. So that's linking these, these four panels together. And then it comes out as a positive and a negative. And then that's what runs, runs to the charge controller. So I've got to repeat this, this setup another 
another two times and then I should be able to start running the wires. So there are the clips, they just nail in. This one holds two wires together, so that's what I'm using. So that's what the double adapter looks like. Goes in as two and out at one. So what you do is you plug two positives in or two negatives in and it comes out as that, as a single cable. So you can pick these up at most shops, electronic shops. Okay, so that's all wired. They're all clipped in. The clips. So I'm going to go grab some lunch, but when I come back I'm going to connect the wires that run from inside the shed in through these panels. So there'll be one, one connected down there, another connected here, and another down there. And then they'll run up along that beam and then into the shed. Okay, so I've done a little bit of work. I've run this this timber board along there and up and that's where the wires are going to come in from the solar panels so I've got 40 mil PVC as the conduit that will hold the three cables in and then they'll run down here along there up that little ramp onto the main board and then connect up to the battery and charge controller so it's about time that I start running the, the wire um, that'll be a bit of a job because I've got to get three wires out to the right size and then um, put the adapters on the end so I'll work on that now so this is what I've made to pull the wire just got the roll got my broom through the hole and now you can pull it and pull the wire out nice and smooth. Makes it easier for a one man job. Okay, so we'll spend a bit of time working on this, getting it all wired. So everything's connecting and seems to be working all right. Um, there's the charge controller. It's a Midnight Solar Classic 150. The inverter, which is a 3000 watt inverter. Um, from Tortec. These are all the wires coming in from the solar panels onto these bars and then into the system. To run the wires I built this bit of timber board to neaten up the wires and then some 40 mil PVC pipe as conduit and I've clipped them all on and it looks looks fairly neat. Okay, so I'm going to show you how get the lights to work. This is only fairly new, so I've got this extension lead. Previously, we, we put this, that adapter there onto this fuse box to liven up all the wires coming out. So the power points and then those lights. So what I'm going to do is hook up this extension lead into that adapter turn the fuse on and turn on the lights and that should work. So what I'm going to do is turn on the inverter which is that switch right there. That's going to liven it. So you've got these status lights here. So one is input voltage and the other one is unit status. That just means it's flashing because it's in power saving mode. So now this this livens up the whole shed. So if I flick that on, like that, you can see the lights coming on. The inverter's working. Load level is a solid green bar. 
which means green solid um, load level so it's drawing between 150 and 9, 990 watts um, these lights take a bit to warm up so this one that one's fully on that one's I think they're on fully now so this is working don't know what I don't know how to read that yet but um load level is fine everything's full green which means it's working all right if that load level is red or flashing red or close to red it means it's on it's on the, the last sort of um, using too much volts out of the batteries so according to that that's that's pretty good so I've got some lights on there we go lights off solar not bad here's the wiring and there's the conduit that goes into the shed still got to clip clip those ones on There we go, so that's, that's it for today. Got the lights working. Pretty good, so it's almost, it's like eight o'clock at night. Can't really tell from the camera, but outside it's getting dark. There we go. I'll do a bit more of an update tomorrow. See what else I can get up to. Probably gonna, we've still got to put an earth on, on the charge controller and inverter. Um, cover up those bus bars so they can't short circuit um, yeah don't know what else I'll guess I'll update you tomorrow thanks for watching